Hey guys, it's Webb here again, Wildlife and Environmental Protection of Trinidad and Tobago. And today we are pleased to do another relocation of three very special species here. We have Tarek holding the boar constrictor or the mackerel. We have Christian Rattensing holding the rainbow boar. And we have Amrika Sanka and she's holding a ratanel. Uh, this one may be an interesting species. We promise that we will do a profile for you. And we have some volunteers with us, well America being one of them, and then we have Jonathan Lutchman as well, with his mom all the way from Diego Martin. So we are live here at the Camelita Falls in Grand Coover, just off the Corusal Road. And we chose this area in the Central Range um, because there's a lot of water supplies that these animals can feed on. And we're not going to release them in the waterfall, but during in the vicinity around the environs of it. So people can still be in here and not worry about snakes. We'll be walking, up, walking uphill. Right to more of the pristine forested areas that are untouched. Right, so we'll be doing an actual release of each of these specimens so you'll see exactly how they go out. Right, so stay tuned and we'll be back shortly. Alright, so we're here at the Kamlita Falls in Grand Coover. We're going to do a release of some of the specimens that needed relocation. Um, a little distance off from the falls, but there is a good water source. And we're in the central range, so we think this is a good environment for the relocation. So we'll get back to you as soon as we assemble with everybody who came with us to do the relocation today. So there's a lot of bamboo and accessible pools here so I'm sure this place is frequented by a lot of animals and people and people and mind you it can be very slippery, slippery. So this guy here, this rainbow boar, his, well, his nickname is Peter because he's named after the guy that was able to get him out of his house, well, his property, and get him to us safely. And we commend him for not killing the snake. Yeah. And instead bringing it to someone who can um, properly facilitate and rehabilitate him. Very nice. Because this snake came with a lot of bruises, very dehydrated, and also two sheds had dried onto his skin. So he was in a really bad state and he happened to recover and now okay. So the condition is looking pretty good now. You can see the rainbow. And you can actually see why they are called the rainbow boar. It's a very beautiful specimen. Right, so just like to give some thanks to Peter from Chase Village for really contacting us. And as you can see. He is um, in good health now and should be able to fend for himself. So again, we'd like to encourage everybody. Um, if you have situations like these where you find snakes in your property, feel free to call us or the Forestry Division or Wildlife Section. And we can have them relocated safely without causing any harm to them or to you all. So this is the Rainbow Boa. Very beautiful specimen.
Feel free to use the bamboo. Yeah, hold on to the bamboo right by your head, yeah? Alright, good. We're going to do a relocation of the ratanel, uh, which is not a regular species. And we have Amrika Sanka here to help out, as well as Tariq to assist her in the relocation process. Nice. Well done. Amrika. Hey, there he goes. Yep. Oh, that's one species you won't regularly see. So, good job, team. And we have our camera crew, the rest of the team here Christian, Christopher, and one of our volunteers as well, Jonathan Latchman. Nice having you guys here with us. Thank and well, again, thanks to America for assisting in the relocation. This is our final relocation of um, the three species that we had done today. The first one being the rainbow boa, then we had done the ratanel, and now we are doing the final one, the makawel or the boa constrictor. And this one was found in New Grand by Avinash, Avinash um, Ramarain. We have Tarek as usual, the guy who does most of the handling of these snakes and still having us in training, mm -hmm. which is good. And we're trying to use these remote locations, right, to basically make sure that these species, thanks Christian, <laughs> make sure that these species are in no way interfered by humans. So that's why we're going out into these remote locations. So Tarek, you want to talk a little bit about him before we go, um, his condition and so on? Avinash was able to secure the snake from some people who were trying to sell it. And from there, he brought it to us and it was in a really bad condition. There were more than 40 ticks on the snake and he was very skinny. So with, through our rehabilitation, we were able to remove all the ticks from him, clean him down, clean, clean him down properly. Mm -hmm. And from now on, he looks a lot better than his state when we first got to him. I believe we, we um, contain the ticks as well for research yeah. purposes. We were able to collect all the ticks mm -hmm. that we removed. Alright, so we, um, we did um, rehabilitation of this. This specimen as well as, was it the rainbow boa as well, Tariq? Boa. Right. Also the ratanel, which and the ratanel. came in with a dry shed on him. Okay, good. Sheds. Right, good. Alright, so, well done again, guys. And well, for those who never really saw a makawel, this is what it looks like. It's really a beautiful snake. A lot of people mix these snakes up with the mapipi. Actually, they call them a lot of snakes the mapipi. Yeah. Right? But this is. Uh, right. And this is a protected species, right? By law under the Conservation of Wildlife Act. So, again, we like to urge everyone um, if you come across specimens like these, right? Um, if you come across these, to make sure and contact, contact us. Um, at the web page on Facebook, which is the Wildlife and Environmental Protection of Tri and Tobago, or contact the wildlife section of the Forestry Division. And remember, these snakes are harmless unless provoked, right? Just as anyone, if they're backed up in a corner, you'd like to defend themselves. Alright, so. Also, this is one of the largest snakes in Trinidad as well. Okay. Because a uh, female of this species could get to 12 feet or more, Whoa. where a male would probably be about 8 foot for the most. Eight. This guy here is about 6 foot exact. Cool. Right, so well, we have a, a nice running water supply right here, so he should be able to fend for himself and also feed in the environs within the central range, which we are, at, we, which we are at right now. Yeah. All right, so Tarek, feel free. All right, and uh, this is one of the four constrictors as well that we have locally. Yeah. Rainbow boar being like, the closest relative to the snake. Mm -hmm. Then. Um, there's the cascabel and the anaconda. Oh, so these guys are really good swimmers as you're about to see. Oh, Let's go that way. Oh. 
underwater. Underwater. Beautiful. I don't know if you all, you guys can see him from there. Moving very, very rapidly. And only been for a couple minutes at a time. Well, that's interesting news. Excellent swimmers. Yep. You see his full length there. This is truly a beautiful specimen. Alright, good. Right, so he would go into some safety and protect himself there under the rocks. And in closing, again, thanks to everyone who visits our page and likes our page and our work. And we encourage the youths, um, feel free to volunteer with us. And if you have any questions, you could post it up on our wall and we'd be glad to help out. All right? All right, Tarek, so I think he's going in. Yeah. Very cool. Nice, and he's probably going to go stay close to the bamboo. Where any sort of mammal or bird will come around. Yeah. Swim to feed on. And being as it's close to our water source, animals will come for water. Right. So they're right in this path. Right, so he's good to go there. Excellent climber. Seeing that. Alright, so we'll leave him and he'll be on his merry way. Alright, so we're trekking on our way back. Oh, don't worry, we're here. On the way back from the Kamlita Falls in Grand Coover. It was a very interesting relocation today. Alright. Alright, we had the crew assisting with the equipment. Uphill isn't as easy as downhill as we all realize. Yeah. How are you guys doing down there? Good? <laughs> Trying. Trying. <laughs> 